is from the Interstellar Safety Council. Your starship will soon enter an area of space where humans have been previously found. Now, we understand that there are rumours and myths about this species. It's true that humans are extremely dangerous, but we believe that the best way to deal with them is to be aware of the facts. The human world, unlike all other known planets, works on a principle that they call survival of the fittest. For billions of years from the time life first appeared, their world has changed not by cooperation, but by brutal, violent competition. Humans are powered by three things. First, humans grow, repair, and fuel themselves by consuming and digesting other life forms, including macroscopic life and, in many cases, life capable of reaction and distress. Their intake point contains exoskeletal protrusions designed to crush, tear, and rip almost any organic material. A human once ate a flying machine. Humans are symbiotic creatures. Around 2% of their mass is made of organisms that aid their digestion, but many of which would kill them if allowed to contact other parts of their internal structure. Humans, everything that they produce and everything on their planet, is covered in uncountable numbers of these microscopic creatures, just one of which would be enough to catastrophically end life on many of our worlds. Unlike most species, human sensory organs are adapted for a wide variety of terrestrial environments. They can identify threats and prey by detecting disruptions in the atmosphere, using some electromagnetic frequencies, and using chemical detection. Astonishingly, they are immune to all but the strongest magnetic fields and all known halting problem attacks. Humans have the ability to perform multiple tasks at once. Their many parts can operate automatically without their central mind being consciously aware of it. Most humans are able to concentrate on more than one complicated task at the same time. As a result, they do not need to pause to think between actions or to contemplate their next move in physical combat. They can manipulate objects with incredible speed and precision by simply willing their body to do so. Human recreation includes physical violence, mental competition, deliberate disruption of their thought processes, and in some cases, deliberately placing themselves into potentially lethal situations. Humans do have weaknesses. The second thing that powers them is oxygen. Highly flammable, highly corrosive oxygen. They are, therefore, only capable of operating in a limited number of terrestrial environments. They are also extremely susceptible to ionising radiation, gravitational forces, and temperature changes. Their space travel thus requires extensive, complicated, and fragile life support arrangements. This is their weak point and the correct time to attack. Once they land on an oxygen-bearing planet, it is theirs and they will win. And they will win because their most startling capability is one of self-delusion. Humans are not a rational species. They do not have an intrinsic grasp of statistics or probabilities. If they did, their history would be very different. They would have followed more sensible approaches to space travel than putting their oxygenated bodies into pressurized metal boxes and throwing themselves off their planet's surface. Humans are irrational, messy, contradictory, and sometimes self-defeating they act against each other's interests and compete viciously and brutally for limited resources. Instead of acting as one, they form complicated tribes that fight between each other. But humans also possess a high capacity for aspiration, kinship, compassion, and a ridiculous tolerance of adversity. For this reason, they are extremely dangerous and likely to take over a significant part of the galaxy in a very short time time. Avoid, if at all possible.